everyone. Welcome back to my Let's Play. So, a couple of things. For Saru, I've decided to take a different approach to how I actually do the Let's Plays. For starters, I think instead of showcasing every little bit of detail, uh, having multiple episodes of me just mining diamond, rambling on, and of uh, whatever it is that comes into my mind, I've, I've decided that I should instead just play not record some of it because i don't want to have to only play this world when i'm recording i would like to just you know farm when i can i would like to farm i would like to just play the game and create stuff without having to talk over it and i'm not very good at editing and i definitely don't want to pay someone to do something for me at least something that shouldn't be too hard to figure out on my own but I'd rather just play the game in silence than be very loud about it, constantly be talking. So for starters, this is the first part of the update. I don't know what episode I left off on, because I recorded a couple after, after the last one I checked. None of them were particularly good, to my knowledge. I don't think any of them were very funny. So they aren't getting uploaded. Which, if, uh, no, they're, they aren't getting uploaded. So that should be, if I mentioned something that was brought up in a previous episode, and it wasn't in a previous episode, forgive me dearly, for I have sinned. I'll just pretend it didn't happen. So the first thing's first, I made a carrot farm. Uh, still has some work to do. Like, I'm not perfect on redstone. Like, for example, there are still blocks that I can't figure out how to go down. Because down here, at least where the redstone is, is repeaters as opposed to just regular uh, blocks. <clears throat> regular gravel blocks. And I can't figure out how to properly use that uh, portion of redstone yet. I'll figure it out eventually, just not yet. So, uh, eventually I'm going to expand this farm more, but I don't want to do it like, I don't want to make the massive carrot farm immediately. Right? I'd rather just... You know, work on it every so often. When I need more carrots, I'll put down, I'll make the carrot farm larger. So that's, this is, uh, this one took me a few hours to, well, more than a few hours. I had to get resources, I had to troubleshoot the most basic of redstone mechanics. And, I mean, for what it's worth, I'm proud of it. I'm not very good at redstone. And I'm not very good at building, I'm not very good at Minecraft, and all things considered. So I'm proud of what I've accomplished. This isn't all there is. Uh, it's been a week of playtime. Given I haven't played every second of every week, but... I've still put in mad hours on this world. And I have a couple of other things to show that. So, uh, we're almost done planting carrots, which is nice. Because that means I can get on to the actual fun stuff. Eventually, I'm going to go, like, embrace auto farms full. Like, full in. Uh, full throttle. Uh, some, something full. Full send. I'll go with that one. Because I, I, when I was looking for um, efficient farms for, like, just regular farming products, like wheat, potatoes, carrots, I saw this really cool villager farm. It was like a... Just a regular farm, but some sort of, they rigged up, the people in the video rigged up some sort of mechanism with minecarts and hoppers, so that way the uh, the villagers have to drop them, have to drop their carrots into that farm. So I set up a pumpkin farm. By the way, jack-o'-lanterns. I haven't used those blocks in years. Pumpkin farm, not that big, but whatever. Slime is uh, kind of... Hard to come by. I haven't finished the melon farm yet, or made it even remotely big. The nether. I went there. 3x3 three three portal. Has some work to do, like, you know, I don't need this. I don't need that there, but we're just going to go in. And uh, I haven't done any nether builds yet. But what I have done is I have found me a portal. Which was a pain in the ass to find. Like, holy shit. 
it's down this hallway. And I think I died about a good 20 to 30 times trying to find this thing. And my god, was it a pain in the ass. But um, that, that's some cobblestone meant to mark a different pathway. Oh, oops. So what I did is I ended up finding the, uh, the portal. And then I wrote down the coordinates for the portal. Went back to my portal. Or I, I found the fortress, right? Then I wrote the coordinates down for the fortress. There's a gas there. I'm in danger. By the way, I, I've died on this walkway as well. I uh, came across a group of unruly pigments. Or piglins. Like those blokes over there, over yonder. But this is the nether fortress. Haven't finished looting it. Don't want to go back there until I have, like, full diamond. Because holy shit did I die so many times. It's rough on hard mode. Like, it is hard. I know, it's shocking. Hard mode is hard. But, uh, I died so many times. Holy shit. All in the nether. I was pissed last play session I had. Or, more, more so the one before that. So, um, as you can tell by my inventory. I did, well, actually, you might not be able to tell, but I did some fishing. Fishing's boring as fuck. I'm going to set up an AFK farm for that. Because the idea was I wanted a god rod. I don't really know why I wanted it. I wasn't really sure with what I was going to use it for, because I don't particularly like fishing. In real life or in the game, they've both managed to somehow bore me to such an extent that I am completely turned off from the just the mere idea from doing it. Watching paint dry would, in all honesty, be more boring, because you don't have any dopamine for when you actually like succeed in your goal, but like, it's still comparable to fishing. But I found the fortress, pain in the ass, died multiple times. This was one of the pathways. Um, let's see. What else? Ah, yes. Oh, that's, that's great. Um, I removed this. Wait. This is the same cave. Huh. Awesome. I don't know why, but my nether fortress, or my nether portal just doesn't stay in place. Well, thankfully, the mine shaft, or there is a mine shaft over here. Hopefully that, that means I'm in a similar place as before. Um, this is unprecedented, for sure. Alright. Um... I found my way out. So, a few things to note. Oh wait, I should have. There's something I should have let off with to begin with. So that lava cast. Well, one, I didn't do it right. You know, that, that's a that's a given. I'm sure. Actually, no wait. Hold on. You guys don't even know about that. The idea was to make it a lava cast. I failed. So we're just gonna pretend I didn't do that because it didn't happen. So, uh, okay. My home is in the distance. Now, if you're very perspective, you might have just seen, well, the slime over here, which I'm going to butcher, and the nether rack. There's a reason I have that there, which I will show you as soon as I slaughter the slime. And hopefully not get myself slaughtered. No, 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 no. Need, no need for uh, that, sir. All right, easy peas. Okay. Well, I gotta defend them. So basically, I got villagers now. And hopefully they all don't just die. Oh, he clipped. Okay. 
Um, hopefully this creeper doesn't, you know, turn the corner. So I got villagers now. Uh, I just made this little establishment. I'm not going to use any of the villagers per se. There's one, or there's two. Or did he die? I hope he didn't die. That would be embarrassing. And looks like he's dead. Oh well. Oh no, he's alive. Okay. So, I got villagers. Should probably light up the area. That's uh that's something I'll do later though. So that's that's one thing I wanted to show you. I actually think I forgot about that. That wasn't on the agenda for today. Gotta eat. Today was Thanksgiving. And unfortunately I had to work today. Uh, it honestly wasn't that bad. It was pretty relaxing. I had some fun conversations with some of the co-workers. And it was nice. Now, I haven't upgraded my house at all. And that's probably not going to happen for a very long time. But we have two dogs now. We have Mason and Maverick. The parrot is still named Drake. I barely use this house. Uh, okay. Let me just get on down. Because I don't think I... I think... So my base was the mine shaft that we found. I don't know if that was in an episode, because my memory is, in all honesty, pretty horrible. This is the mine shaft that I found. It. That jack-o'-lantern will stay there for all of eternity until I change my mind. Got a chicken thing set up. Uh, it's pretty basic, nothing special. Got some chests set up. Now here is what I wanted to show you. You know, not my amazing leather tunics, but my book and quill. Because in this book and quill, it has all of my earthly desires. Now, these are all the projects that I want to do. We have some, you know, we have some basic ones like, oh, make mega farms for um all these. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Make mega farms. Make a nether brick biome, which I think I talked about, but who knows? Because I certainly don't. Anarchy Island. That is why I wanted to put a pin into the lava casts. So for Anarchy Island, I'm going to find an island. I just dropped my controller on the floor, and that's going to stay there until I'm done talking about Anarchy Island. So Anarchy Island, I thought it would be a cool idea to, like, find an island. Doesn't matter... Uh, how doesn't matter where it is, but just find an island and then take inspiration from the uh, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, and just build off of that. I'm talking like lava casts, uh, melon farms, the whole nine yards. And now I gotta pick up my controller. So I want to get some farms going. I hope I didn't break my controller this time. I want to I wanna make farms for both mobs and plants alike. I want to make a mob zoo. This one's been, a t this uh, certain project's been attempted by many people many times. Varying degrees of success. Uh, what I have in mind for that is there are like some builds here that I have uh, in my head already. Probably not going to build them for a while, but I still have them in my head. Now with some of these builds, I'm going to put my mob zoo in them. But the mob zoo is not going to be an, an individual build. It's going to be in a variety. I'm not going to bring piglins to the overworld. I'm going to keep them in a nether build. I'm not going to like try to get my drowned into the nether. I'm going to keep them into an ocean build. Stuff like that. Uh. Okay. Wall, cave, end... Nether, Sky, Underwater, Old Villages. I'm working on the, the wall village. It's over here, and it's a pain in the ass for me to remember. Excellent. Creepers spawned. 
but I told you that I have villagers now. Here's one. There was two. I have no clue where the second one went. I was very confused, and then I just gave up trying to figure it out. So, I have I have the villages. I'm, I'm working on the wall village. Because the idea is for me to make this entire area just a village. Which I think would be sick. Uh, I'm going to have to sneeze soon. A lava river. So in my old world, I was clearing out an ice river in like, I think it's the taiga biome? I don't know. It was, it was an ice. It was an ice biome, basically. And I was clearing out, I was using the ice for my ice highways. Which is right there, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse in this recording software. It's at the bottom of my screen. That's what I'm trying to say. So... I wanted to, once that was done, I wanted to fill it up with lava, because I think that would be pretty cool. I want to get a carnival going, with like a dunk tank, uh, a roller coaster. I don't know what else, but I think it'd be cool. And end forest, that would be sick. Mega beacon, also sick. Uh, get all achievements, that's something I will, I will dedicate like my own individual, its own episode to. Basically what I'm going to do is, even though I already have... At least about half the achievements. I want to get all of them in one episode. Kill Wither. I need to kill the Wither eventually. There's Anarchy Island. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? I like I like pirates. I think like the mythology they have, uh, the aesthetic, the games that they have spawned are all amazing. So why not make a pirate ship battle? Eh? Uh, okay. I'm just going to... I still have some other things to show you, and I don't want to make this too long. But, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask you to pause the video, let you read it over. I got some fun ones in here that, you know, I'm not going to mention, because that would kind of take away the, um, the amusement. Right? So, just go ahead and pause if you need more time to read these. Because, um... Uh, Personally, I'm excited for, like, to build, or at least to try to build some of these. Like, a dungeon? That would be cool. I don't have any idea what how I'm going to build it, but it would still be cool. But that's, that's, that's it for the book. The book was pretty important. But that's, that's like, uh, the basis of what I'm going to be doing. The, the many, many, many projects. Kind of like a, a guideline. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm clicking while I'm playing with controller. So over here is my sugarcane farm. Uh, it's probably going to be outlawed in the next patch, and I'm I'm probably going to end up uh, expanding it. But for now, it works for me. Eventually, I'll make like a more traditional one with like a I boy. I actually wait for this stuff to grow before you know I do stuff with it. That that's a sentence, but. I have a sugarcane farm. Uh, I'll make a more traditional one later. It's on my list. I just wanted uh, emeralds. I want to build capital because the village and pillage update is by far my favorite Minecraft. I am full. My inventory is full. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unload, showcase some of the loot, some of my chests. Why am I going this way? The staircase is, uh, I'm dumb. Well, the villager and pillager update was by far my favorite update because I just. I like the idea of a colony sim. Where you can kind of like control the houses. I like the I like sims. I don't actually because I haven't played it, but I like having an effect on the world around me, not just controlling everything. And I also like the uh, well, I like emeralds. I like getting the trades. I just really like the village and pillage update because they added they made villagers extremely useful, and I like that. Um, okay. I gotta unload. I'm not gonna unload everything. Don't wanna bore you. But, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this works. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Good enough for me. 
So let's see. I think more or less that's the big stuff. Oh, looks like it's going to be nighttime. I did some mining. Uh, there were some spawners in that mine shaft. There's a spider one. There's a zombie one. They're not really important to show off. At least until I make a farm out of them. But the crown, the crowning achievement of what I've done so far, uh, come on, we're doing this now. I gotta, I gotta figure out if I want to spoil it and tell you guys about it, or if I want to just make the trek all over. Actually, I'll tell you about that time I died. You'll probably end up seeing a horse. And for those of you that don't know, the only way Minecraft is with a, a kind of event. Basically, if you see one in the wild, because what happens when you get close enough to it is it spawns in four other skeleton horses, all of which with skeletons on top of them, and they fuck your shit up if you aren't prepared. Now, I thought I was prepared. It actually happened like over here. I thought I was prepared, but I got my shit rocked multiple times. I wasn't happy about that either, but yeah, you can see off in the distance, right, right over there, right over there. You can't see him anymore because I'm blocking the way, but he's right. Actually, we'll take him. Why not? Uh, let's see. I want to go this way because you can see the village, and that was the abandoned village from the first episode, I think it was. I don't know. But that was the abandoned village, which I have rehabilitated. And I'm working on building a wall. I need to do some more mining. I'm working on building a wall. And eventually I'm going to make it more fancy and whatnot, but it serves its purpose for now. The entrance is something that needs a lot of work. If I can, I'll make some sort of drawbridge if I can figure out redstone. But... This is uh, the crowning achievement of what I've done. I've rehabilitated this place. All of these villagers were, um, except for the baby ones. All of them were zombies. But now they have doors for starters. They got beds. Uh, I discovered something really nice. There's a fisherman somewhere here. Hopefully he didn't die because that would be bad. I gotta find him. Oh, okay. So, string. I had absolutely no clue that string could be sold to fishermen. That makes my spider spawner so much more useful. It's insane. But, uh, I did a bunch of fishing, so I this is the first guy I've maxed out. And thus, I shall dub the Max. But yeah, that's that's all for today. That's all for today's update. My life has been honestly pretty good since last time. Uh, I've taken to enjoying Minecraft, and I have quite a few projects that I got to be working on. Most likely for the the first few episodes of Minecraft, or at least the next few, is going to be uh, me updating you on farms. Because like the sooner you get stacked, the better. Because then you get to do like oh, a bunch of shit. Like, uh, I think Philza put it best, a quote from Philza. Once you get stacked, you can just take a look at a biome and just say, nah, and then destroy all of it in like a minute. Obviously not a minute, but you get, you get what I mean. But yeah, thank you all for joining and goodbye.